Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series videos of hydraulics and pneumatics. In the previous lecture video, we have discussed about what is actuator, various classification of actuators like linear, rotary, and asphaltic actuator. So under linear actuator, we have a single acting and double acting. So for this lecture video, we are going to discuss about single acting cylinder. So this cylinder are also called a single acting actuator, which comes under the category of linear actuator. So why it is called single acting cylinder, which produces inflow motion or extension and retraction motion. Both the single acting and double acting cylinders produces inflow motion or extension and retraction motion. But the difference is in the single acting cylinder, one motion can be accomplished with the top fluid power and the other motion can be accomplished either gravity or the spring force. So that's why it is called a single acting cylinder. Most of the cylinders extension can be accomplished with the help of fluid power and retraction can be accomplished with the help of either gravity or spring force. It changes vice versa depends upon the application. So let us have a detailed discussion about the construction and working of single acting cylinder that So, in this illustration, I have uh, illustrated a sectional view of single acting cylinder. So, coming to the construction, it has an outer shell. This is the outer shell is called a barrel, so which is a housing for the inner components like piston, ram, spring, and etc. So, in the bar in the barrel, one end we have a four. It is oil from the pump is pumped inside the port to make extension of the cylinder. So inside the barrel, we have a piston, and the piston is in close contact with the barrel or the shell of the cylinder, which is operated very close dimensional tolerance system. So uh, this is slightly the piston diameter is slightly less than the diameter. Of inside diameter of the barrel. A small clearance is provided to make inflow motion of the piston. So there may be a chance of oil leakage inside the piston. To avoid this, the piston is uh, surrounded with oil sealing which protects leakage of oil. And the piston is connected with the ram uh, which will make inflow motion or extension and retraction. On the other side of the barrel, we have a spring mechanism. So the retraction can be ensured with the help of spring. The left hand side of the piston is called the blank end, and right hand side of the piston is called the rod end, since the rod is attached, attached in the piston. And the ram is reciprocated inside the uh, with the help of rod seal and the uh, wiper seal bearings are also there the purpose of rod seal is to uh, avoid the leakage of oil from the from inside the cylinder to outside and the bearings are used to reduce the friction between the ram and the bag and the wiper seals are also there in the outside of the cylinder it is used to protect the ram from contamination of foreign contaminants like dust and rust because the outer side of the ram is exposed to the ambient. So there may be a possibility of entering of corrosion particles like rust, dust, etc. inside the cylinder. So the cylinder is operated very close dimensional tolerance very hot contaminants enters into the cylinder which damages the internal parts. To overcome that problem, it is provided with the wiper. And coming to the working, uh, 
the oil is pumped from the pump which enters the blank end of the screen. So the pump is keep on pump, pumping the oil which increases the pressure of the oil. The pressure of the oil exceeds the spring pressure which pushes the piston so the spring compresses which will make extension of the cylinder. Then if we change the direction, the direction control valve, the oil from the blank end of the cylinder is pumped into is written back into the, I mean, it is written back into the reservoir because the oil pressure is reduced here. We are not connecting this port to the pump. So the pressure automatically reduces in the blank end of the cylinder. Therefore, the spring pressure increases. The spring pressure is high, higher than the top oil pressure, which will make retraction of the cylinder. So the oil is forced via this port to the reservoir. So this is how the single acting cylinder will work. And this is called a, a single acting cylinder where the spring is not used since it is a vertical cylinder. For uh, case A, the pressure port we are applying pressure. If the pressure of the fluid exceeds this weight, then it moves uh, upward. Then the pressure reduces because of the gravity automatically which comes back to its original position. That stroke is called a retraction stroke. And in case B, this is the inverted cylinder where retraction can be accomplished with the help of fluid pressure and extension can be accomplished with the help of gravity force. And these are all the references for this uh, presentation. Fluid power with, by Anthony Esposito, Pearson Education, in the year of 2003, and Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulic Machines by R.K. Bansa, published by Lakshmi Publications in the year of 2021. So I hope this video helps to you how to how the single acting cylinder performs and construction working everything. Thanks for watching this video.